It's uh, another new day, and uh, here we are at Shore Hope Church, welcoming you to join as you join with us for our online service, and uh, we pray that you'll be blessed today, encouraged, and know that God is for you, not against you. What a message, what a blessing that uh, is, is uh, being sung around the nation, uh, the, the ironic blessing that uh, God is for you, not against you. Be, be encouraged by that today. Know his blessing in your life. We're going to give God praise and give him all the honour that's due his name this morning as we uh, join together separately in our homes to bring our worship and praise to him. He's a faithful God who knows how to bless his people and how to uh, give pour into our lives every day. I pray that you will know that is your experience today. And if you've joined with us for the first time, maybe you're just checking us out on the internet, well, God bless you. Good to see you this morning. I pray that uh, you'll hear God's voice speak to your heart and uh, respond to him today. Don't ignore it because it's his voice that leads us into truth and brings us into freedom and new life that can be found in Christ. And uh, that's so exciting. It's wonderful. New life. Um, Jesus said, unless you're born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Know what it is to be born again. Nicodemus asked the question, well, how can, how can I go back into my mother's womb to be born? And no, it's nothing to do with natural birth. It's spiritual new birth. And, uh, and that's the key. Be blessed today. Be encouraged. And let's join together in our worship of, uh, of the one who, who makes covenant and keeps covenant with his people. So I want to read uh, Psalm 142 this morning. And he was in the cave, the cave of uh, Abjum. Um, and, and so um, we, we can be sure that uh, that that experience, imagine he's been running for his life. He's been running from town to town, from city to city. Saul is after him and uh, Saul's men. And uh, it's been horrendous. And now David has got a bunch of guys, 400 fellas who've, who've come to him. <laughs> but, they're, but they're not the sort of guys he would want if you're in, in, uh, in the place of running for your life. I mean, these guys are in debt. They're in despair. They're in despondency. They're discouraged. <laughs> they're all, they're, they all start with D. <laughs> and, and they found David. And he's thinking, oh. Give me somebody who's going to encourage me. I need to encourage them. They're in despair. But he writes this psalm uh, while he's in that cave. And uh, here it is. Uh, well, I say he wrote it while he was in the cave. He wrote it about the, the experience of when he was in the cave. All right, Psalm 142. Come on. I cry to the Lord. I plead for the Lord's mercy. I pour out my complaints before him and tell him all my troubles. When I am overwhelmed, you alone know the way I should turn. Wherever I go, my enemies have set traps for me. I look for someone to come and help me, but no one gives me a passing thought. No one will help me. No one cares a bit about what happens to me. Then I pray to you, O Lord. I say, you are my place of refuge. You are all I really want in life. Hear my cry, for I am very low. Rescue me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring me out of prison so I can thank you. The godly will crowd around me, for you are good to me. Come on, let's crowd around each, each, each other today, separately in our homes, and say, Lord, you are good to me. Is that your testimony? Well, if it is, let's worship together separately in our homes. I'm going to pray now and then hand over to uh, Gordon, who's put together the worship songs for us this morning. And I pray that you're going to be really blessed. Heavenly Father, we can say with David today that in our time of trouble, even when we feel so very low because of the situation and circumstances of life, so many people struggling today, um, who have found that uh, life, it seems, has fallen apart around them because of the crisis. Oh, Lord, I pray that as they cry out to you, we know that you will hear and answer their prayer. 
And when they feel so very low and desperate, they will then know that as you respond and hear their hearts cry and bring that deliverance to them, that they would be able to join with your people and say, oh, Lord, you've been good to me. And that is our testimony, our song. Holy Spirit, come and fill us this morning and lead us to be able to worship and give God all the praise that's due his name. Oh, Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed and be encouraged. Thank you, God.